Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, um, I want to let you know that when I'm doing the reading for Monday through Thursday, I do use my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards and my Guardian Angel decks. I will also pull one from the Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies, Francis Monroe and Judy Mastrangelo. I will also from Emily Anderson, Crystal Deck. Now, if you are new to my channel or if you are cross-watching, just remember to go, you know, right down there is the uh, description, is the timestamp, and that can get you to the regular readings, okay? I tag this introduction on all the readings. Now, what I'm going to be doing for the introductions is I'm going to use my Rider Waite, Waite Rider, whichever I'm using today, uh, traditional tarot, and my Osha Zen tarot cards. All the cards I have prayed, I have meditated, I have infused the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message, and hopefully, well, I do know, it gets delivered, but it gets delivered to the right address. So let's see what we've got going on. Now, if ever you want to look at my um, listing and what I do, you can go to my website, uh, www Divine Destiny with Debbie. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'm trying to do a little bit better. Also, Twitter. I'm trying to do a little bit better with those postings, um, but you might want to take a look. And I try to post on the community page, too. So we have on the 12th of December, we have the sun, which is in Sagittarius right now, sextiling. Saturn, which is Aquarius, at the 20. Now remember, twos are crossroads choices. Zero is God's source energy. Sextiling is actually a good um, energy. It's not, it's, it's not a real strong one, but it is a positive one. It's kind of like, hey, you want to go out tonight? Sure, what time? I don't care. Just come on over. So it's a good energy. It's, <laughs> it's, a, um, it's, it's not a strong energy per se, but it's not a bad energy. It's not an opposing energy. None of the energies are really bad, but it's not something to really get it moving and really get it um, up in arms, okay? So Sagitt the sun, Sagittarius, all about adventure, um, all about um, fire energy, you know, working to, you know, try to make things a different different way. It's, it's, it's an interesting, Sagittarius has an interesting um, look on life. And then we have Aquarius, which is our air energy, it, which is also, you know, which is about, um, you know, thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. We have Saturn. Um, Saturn is very, has, has, has some rules and regulations, has some structure to it. Saturn in Aquarius is where I'm always telling you about illusion versus reality, seeing things so something about the sun, something about this adventurous energy is kind of pushing Saturn maybe a little out of its comfort zone while it's in Aquarius. Not necessarily strongly, and it's not forcing Saturn, but it is kind of like saying, come on, come on, get moving a little bit. It's giving it some encouragement. Then we have on the 13th, we have Sagittarius again. Now it is squaring Neptune in Pisces. Now Neptune's been in Pisces for a while. It will be in Pisces for a while. Neptune in Pisces, Neptune the deep, Neptune, you know, the hidden, Pisces the spiritual, Pisces, you know, water energy um, flowing, very, very continuity in many, continuity in many ways, um, very spiritual in many ways. So Sagittarius is kind of pushing Neptune a little bit out of its, uh, comfort zone while it was helping Saturn and pushing it out of its comfort zone in a gentle way. It's doing this more with Neptune right now. It's really pushing. It's pushing. It's kind of saying you've got to you've got to do something. You've got to give up your secrets, Neptune. Give up your secrets. So we've got that going on. That's at 22 degrees again to two choices, choices, decisions, decisions, interesting stuff. The 17th has an interesting energy even though we're not there. Mercury is 15 degrees, um, Capricorn, 
trining with Uranus, which is retrograde, of course, in, in Taurus. So we've got the two or, um, Earth energies, Capricorn and Taurus, Earth, money, job, career, okay? You know, your home energy. So these two are coming, they're buddying up with each other. Trining is kind of a stronger um, connection. Uh, so there is that Mercury is about communication and um, electronics. Mercury towards the end of... December goes retrograde, so right now this is entering into that shadow. It's a, it's like one or two days into the shadow of retrograde, so there is a little bit of, um, it's slowing down. There is a little bit of discovery here, so I am feeling like there is some discovery here. So communications, and Uranus is always about expect the unexpected, but in this case, they're working together. They're working together. So, interesting, the 20th, we have Jupiter re-entering Aries. So, it, it's an interesting time, interesting transitional energies. Nothing looks, uh, you know, on the paperwork, it doesn't look necessarily that strong, but we have to remember, we still have all those planets out there, you know, that are um, now going direct, except for Mars, Mars and Uranus. So, there is, you know, there is a little bit of a focus right now, even though we don't have a bunch of stuff, you know, in the skies, there is things still going on in the heavens, and we were told to look to the heavens. So, let's see what we have going on. Um, you know, did I say this? I think I did. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, and like I said, my job is just to get it to where the message where it needs to go, or just to de deliver the message and I know somebody will be picking it up. So let's see what we've got going here. Higher power, what do you want to say for the world in general? Just the world in general, just the universe for this weekend. I'm sorry, not weekend, this week. The 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. What do we have for this? What do we have? Here we go. We'll cut it in three. What do you want people to know, people to be aware of? One two, and three. I'm still getting used to doing the screen this way. I hope that you're liking it. I think you can see the cards that much better. Okay, anything reversed will be a little stronger. So let's see what we've got here. Busy, 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 busy. So this is the eight of rods. Numbers have meaning. Eight has um, a lot of, you know, a lot of potential for opportunity, unlimited potential, unlimited opportunity, you know, there's things happening around you. Rod energy, again, is that Sagittarius. It is that Aries. And remember, Jupiter will be going into Aries just on that 20th, so just right around the corner now. It is also Leo energy. Again, fiery. It is very passionate, very consuming, very, you know, just like, you know, I want what I want what I want. The Eight of Rods, Eight of Wands is um, Eight of Fire is considered a very busy, busy energy, busy cards. People don't know, are you coming, are you going? Things are happening, things are swirling. And it just, it's just, you know, make sure you take a breath. This is a week where you want to make sure you take a, take a breath. You want to make sure that you connect with higher power. You want to make sure that maybe you meditate because the energies are swirling around and they're, um, they're just keep, you know, like I said, you don't know, am I coming, am I going? So next card is, now we have the seven of pentacles. So pentacles is that earth energy I was talking about, Capricorn, Taurus, but it's also Virgo. Money, job, career, your home life. Seven is that divine umbrella, divine intervention. Sometimes it's called the divine, it's called divine interference. It's that, you know, disruption of your plans, but then you realize, oh, it, it worked out even better for me. So that's what the seven is all about. This is a card that says, basically, you know, you, this person's got the money. He, he's got his uh, money, his crops. He's done what he has to do. He is totally ready for his next step. Uh, maybe he has to do a little bit of a cleanup. Maybe he has to just, you know, just kind of put the finishing touches on things but he is ready. So kind of like, you know, if you're having guests over, um, maybe for the weekend, you've got the house, um, you know, straight, you know, you've done your deep cleaning, you've got the house very um, organized, and then just before the guests come, you might have to do a final sweep. But 
So that's kind of that energy. It's, it's like, okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Okay, maybe one more final sweep, and now I totally am ready. Now, the other thing about this card, it tells you to have a little patience, because even though things are going around you, very, very fire energy, you know, you might be ready, but it's not quite, you know, or, or the people might be ready, but it's not quite transitioned over just yet. Okay, next card is... Oh, and you know I love this card so much, she says sarcastically. We have a five. Five is um, change energy, positive, negative energy. This is the Hierophant. This is rules, regulations. This is um, law. This is, and it actually it doesn't necessarily mean that it is law um, that is legal law. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that. It's the restrictions. It's, uh, you know, the business of government, the business of religion. It is the restrictions of government. It's the restrictions of, of you know, of religion. It, you know, this is the kind that's, that's you know, like I said, there's a little bit of let's, ah, uh, let's break out. Let's, uh, let's leave this crowd. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go that way. Either way, let's just not necessarily be around this hierophant, hierophant. Um, it just, again, very rule, re rules and regulations with this very, tight control i'm getting you know so whatever's going on you know whatever's going on with this things are happening in a faster pace you get you know you have to stand ready even though you might have to do a little um you know neat you know, like i said you know you've, you've gotten everything ready the party everything is ready you know you're just to whatever you're totally you might have to do a little bit of a cleanup you might have to do a little bit more preparation but it's very nominal but then we have the Hierophant, and the Hierophant, like I said, rules, regulations. Um, this is the card that I'm always saying I would rather go, uh, I, again, I, I don't like the Hierophant. I feel a lot of restriction with the Hierophant, and it's not one that I enjoy. But it generally tells me when, um, you know, sometimes it's going, you know, might be about disciplining. It might be about disciplining yourself. It might be about uh, being under a discipline. It's just not a necessarily a card that I, that I enjoy. And, you know, you know, if you've been following me, you know that I have been saying that. So, uh, I go poo, uh, puh, poo on the um, Hierophant. Anyway, let's see what we've got with the Oceans and Tarot cards. So, we talked about fire energy. We talked about earth energy. We have air energy which is our sword energy, and that is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and it's our Libra. Remember, Aquarius has Saturn um, going direct, and um, Gemini has Mars going retrograde, and it's been there for a while. And we just had that Mars full moon. And also, too, um, and I didn't, I didn't really realize this, but on the... Um, on the 7th, 8th, when we had the full moon, Mars actually had was eclipsed. So the moon, you know, if you were looking up there and you see little Mars, you know, kind of, to, I think it was to the right, um, it actually, the moon came between Mars, or it appeared like it came between Mars and the um, Earth. I think it was that, like that for a half hour. Also, on the 4th, I think the moon did the same thing with Uranus. So there are some strange energies, strange energies around that full moon, and it is carrying us through. So I talked about that. Now, I did not talk about cups, which is our water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, Pisces, we know Neptune and Pisces um, retrograde, right? Retrograde. Uh, Neptune, Pisces, well, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces is um, Scorpio and Cancer, fluid, emotional, um, spiritual very spiritual energy so if we see those in any of the readings I, I try not to go too deep into that then here we go let's see higher power and again i open myself higher power holy spirit god whatever you want to call i call it god and so let's see source what do you have what else what can you add to this busy prepared i don't know restriction rules regulations here we go and these are man-made they're not of god they're not of source they're not of nature okay so just be aware of that they are man-made they are not 
they are not like a, they're not binding in the uh, universe. Okay, here we go. Clinging to the past. So we have a five energy here again. Now, I do not know. I don't believe that this is, this may be actually the Hierophant. I have to go through my cards a little bit more to see, but this might not be. But this is a five. This is, you know, not letting go. This is wanting things to be as they used to be. So there is something going on next week. I don't know, or I should say the week of the 12th. But it's about clinging to the past, not letting go, not opening up, not looking to the future. So very interesting with that one. Okay, so I don't know. Five connects with this five. Yeah, maybe this is what, you know, they want to, you know, want, you know, we're always evolving. We're always changing. We are always moving forward. And there are energies that don't want that. So we will see what we will see. Okay. Okay. So interesting, interesting energies for us. Now, do me that favor. And again, I know I have to say this because sometimes it slips our minds. So please, please, please do the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It's amazing when you do that. It's amazing how that helps the videos, my videos, my, what I do, my little project here, if we want to call it that. It helps us to be seen, or us, me, God, source, <laughs> to be seen. So thank you very much, and why don't we start our videos now. Hello, my Capricorns, and how are you? I hope wonderful. So as I'm shuffling, I'm getting the message, it's time for you guys to take a break. It's time for you to relax a little bit and maybe focus a little more on your own self-care, okay? So I'm not sure uh, if, you're, if you've been running around like a chicken with your head cut off, um, pick up your head, put it back on, and slow down a little bit, okay? So let's see. Higher power, what do you want? What do you want to say? What do you want to give our... Oh, look at that. The sun is coming out. Our Capricorns, what do you want? Good job. Life is good. Things are happening. Things are revolving. Things are evolving. We have that 1991 new, be new beginning. A 10 is a transitional energy. 9, you've got everything you need, so let's wrap it up. Let's get things done. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. We have Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the angel that, um, that brings light to dark matters, that bring, lets you see what needs to be seen, and just opens up many, many, um, many opportunities for you too okay i'm feeling the opportunities but i do again go back to about taking the break taking some time and maybe it's about recouping maybe it's just letting that sun shine on you for a little bit of time maybe you're from my southern hemisphere where it's really warm it but it's just about you know maybe getting your good vitamin d and just letting the sun shine on you sun is also has a little bit of leo energy well has a lot of leo energy so this is about life is wonderful, thrive through the power of positive thinking. Remember, always keep your vibrations high, and how you do that is positive thinking and inspiring success. I love it. This card is reversed. Here we go. The King of Gabriel. King of Gabriel looks at the big picture and then, then lets the little stuff figure itself out. So king energy is our underlying, is our air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Aquarius has Saturn in it. Gemini has Mars in it, going retro right now. Gabriel is our fire energy again, our Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And remember, on the 20th, Jupiter transitions into Aries. But you're already starting to feel that. Jupiter is, you're already, you know, we're all feeling this, something's changing, something's changing. And we need to make sure that we, especially you, my Capricorns, to keep those vibrations up and think something for the better is changing, something positive changing. Prayers are being answered. Prayers are being heard, okay? The King of Gabriel looks at the whole thing, leaves the details to, uh, let, leaves the details to God, Source, angels, whoever it is, and kind of just puts out, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm wanting, okay? 
The King of Gabriel is also very confident, is also very, um, is very large, large in energy. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So it's a kind energy too. But, you know, like I said, look, just say, hey, you know, God, source, I don't care how it's done. This is what I need, I want, I'm thinking about, okay? I know that, that people tend to think that that's a little bit on the selfish side, but remember what I'm always saying, if you don't ask, you don't receive. You can ask, and you still might not receive, but at least, but sometimes you can, you can receive, and I have seen that happen. So here we go, last card is... The Knight of Gabriel. So the Knight underlying energy is fire. This is fire, fire. You are on fire, my Capricorns. I do, you know, so all of these have a lot, have very strong fire energy, very strong passionate energy, very strong going after something with a with that passion energy. The Knights, you know, Knights do have this, this tendency that when they're focused, when they're brought to say, okay, this is what we need to do, they tend to just gravitate. They move towards them. And Gabriel, again, is the fire fire energy. So it's, kind of, it's very much, you know, okay, I'm taking care of the big picture. I'm doing what I need to be doing. And then the night just makes everything come together for you. So it's a very strong, again, I do feel like you do need to take a little break. Or maybe it's more a case that with all of this energy, very strong, you need to take care of yourself maybe during this time. So, um, and that and that could be very possible, maybe, you know, because it's such a strong, pushing you forward, things are happening, things are changing. Um, make sure you get some rest, okay? Make sure you get some rest, my cappies. Anyway, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Take time, uh, I'm sorry, time to take action, great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do I, you know so like i said this is a time hey prayers being answered yes go for it seeing the big picture not worrying about the little details not going down that path just kind of saying this is happening i believe it i know it i feel it and then doing it then going after it okay so let's see guardian angels guardian angels what do you have for my Capricorns. What do you have for our Capricorns here? What do you have? What do you want to add to our Capricorns? Okay, let's go on here and cut. Here we go. All righty, here we are. Seven of Abundance. Now, this is what came up in the introduction to this is the seven of earth this is the seven of pentacles seven divine numbers so you have a one nine seven seven nine one have patience sometimes dreams grow slowly and again too remember i'm telling you that you know jupiter is going into um aries the 20th so maybe this is like you, you're getting ready you, you know okay almost 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 have patience sometimes gr dreams grow slowly don't worry the hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. So it does say, you know, use this time to rest. But plan also. Things are moving around you, my cappies. Always know that. Anyway, let's see what we have with the inspirational wisdom from angels in fairies let's see what we have here what do we have here for my capricorns here we are because we're coming up we're coming up to your uh season so it's a good time okay not reversed the mushroom fairy anyway i you know i i when i see that i do have to laugh because i am from the 60s and 70s <laughs> mushroom fairy Shh. anyway step into the light to rejoice and celebrate all the good there is in you step into the light and there is archangel uriel bringing you light there's all the fire around you bringing you light 
step into the light, my Capricorns. But rest and plan. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Chris, um, higher power. What crystal or energy? What would be really good for our Capricorns? What would be so helpful for them? What would they be? Because you're my earth energies. And this is, you know, crystals and energies do help you quite a bit. Here we go. Carnelian. Carnelian. There, here we go. Let's see. There's my, my big old carnelian that I love. Anyway, self-trust, re, self-trust, relationship rejuvenation, powers of concentration, healing from abuse. Good energies. Good energies. I, and it's also too, um, carnelian is also good for saying what you need to say. And maybe that's connecting with the root because you need to say what you say to help you heal from abuse. Anyway, let me know, my Capricorns, as always, who this who needed this message. I hope that, uh, you know, I, well, I should say, I know it's going to be delivered. Anyway, my Capricorns, do the stuff. Like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell. Always helps so much, and I thank you. As always, my Cappies, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.